Hey there, it's Brittany and I am back with a tutorial. I realized I haven't done a video on my artisan beads lately and I need to make my mom a pair of um, earrings. And we're gonna be using these chickens that I made. Aren't they cute? Out of polymer clay. Um, and because she, my mom really loves chickens, like she loves them. She's always had them in her, her kitchen, like, like bowls, chicken bowls, chicken, <laughs> wire chickens, like anything chicken. Or rooster she's had in her kitchen since I can remember so I was I made I painted these um, I made them and then painted them um, and I think she's gonna really enjoy them so I went through my bead stash and I kind of just wanted to go with orange and red and yellow so I grabbed some check beads I don't know which ones I'm gonna be using and then I grabbed some para wire in uh, 22 gauge natural brass and then I grabbed uh, some bead caps these are gonna be super ear super easy earrings I got out my drill because I am going to need to make a hole uh, I think I want a smaller hole than the drill bit that's in my drill this is just a hand drill you can use um, a dremel a regular personal drill whatever floats your boat okay so I'm going to show you how I drill these and I gotta actually figure out where I'm drilling them because I wanted to drill them right, right here but that might be an issue um, when it comes to hanging it because then the beads will have to come all the way down here. Um, I could put like a screw in there and then hang it that way. I don't know. I don't really want to put a hole in his head because then he's going to hang like a little lopsided. Ooh, this is interesting. Do I just put, I don't really want to put a hole in the chicken's head. Um, I mean, that one, the tail wouldn't look right. I think we're gonna have to do it right here. Oh, wish me luck because this is scary. All right, so I just kind of made a dent. I'm gonna go in with my, hold my finger on the back and then just twist. And that comes out pretty quickly on the back. And then I always drill from the back to front just to make sure that there's nothing left in that hole. There we go, so easy. And then I'm gonna actually line these up. I should have sanded these guys a little better. I wasn't paying attention. And before you ask, I'm not doing a tutorial on how to make these yet. Um, I just don't have the time and um, I'm not the biggest I, I just don't really like making polymer clay tutorials as much as like just regular jewelry making because they take a lot of time <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and push this through here so um, and I'm not taking like special orders for these or anything because it takes a long time to make them for me anyway, um, and the price that I would have to charge, most people probably don't want to pay. And if you if you are a connoisseur of artisan beads, I understand that you probably would pay for them, but um, right now I'm just not interested in making them for um, purchase. Maybe in the future, maybe in the future. I will be selling beads in 2024, but I don't know that they'll be handmade. All right, so we have a bunch of polymer clay flakes all over the place. All right, we're gonna take our 22 gauge wire. I'm gonna cut off a relatively long piece because you know I always do. And I am going to feed that through the hole in the chicken. Bring it up just like that. And then bring this piece up and wrap my other piece around just a few times. So one, And two, and then I'm gonna do two more on t like right on top of the ones that I just did. Make it a little messy because they're like rustic farm chickens. And I'll cut that off in the back because I don't like how that looks. Okay, 
So we have our chicken connected to our wire like that. And then I got out these saucers. They match the red on the chicken. No idea where these came from because this could be, oh, maybe Sam's, Sam's Beach Shop, maybe? Kind of looks like one of his labels. Um, and then I have a bead cap. Uh, and I don't know out of the orange and yellow beads which beads I'm going to be using yet. So, let's see, do I want this hanging down over the, no, we'll come this way. Put on our Saturn bead, like it's perfect, it's got orange and red in it. I love it, oh, I love that, maybe I'll put another bead cap on. All right, um, pretty sure I got these from Bargain Bee Bags a while ago, or Bee Box Bargains, I should say, their sister site. No idea where these came from, and um, these probably came from Bargain Bee Bags as well. I mean, today is Christmas. <laughs> Nothing like the last minute, right? But we're going to make candles today. So I'm gonna put on that rondelle, then the block, and then this tiny little orange bead, orange and gold bead. Mm. I think that's a little too tall. I think one of the beads needs to come off, but I can't tell which one it is. So we're gonna do a process of elimination. We're gonna take off that disc first, and then try this. I mean, that's okay. I really do want the yellow bead on there, so I'm just trying to see between the disc and the yellow bead which one needs to, or the disc and the round bead which one needs to come off. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. I think I think the orange the small orange bead's gonna stay off. I'm gonna put the yellow bead back on. Yeah, I think I like that the most. And then I'm just gonna wire wrap that. I can find some pliers. I also gave her or am giving her the um, necklace I made for the bargain bead from the bargain bead box. I don't know if you've seen that yet. <laughs> I don't know if I posted it yet, but um, I'm sure she'll love it. All right, so I made a loop. I'm going to hold on to that loop, and then I'm just going to wire wrap around. And just the messy wrap. There we go. I think I'll post these on Instagram as well because I know there's a a good community over there for artisan beads. I th okay, so uh, this is a struggle that I've been going through since I got this new camera. I it does not look as good as my old iPhone. My new iPhone just does not film as well close up and I don't understand it. So, I'm sorry if this isn't as clear as I'd like it to be. Um but look how fun this earring is. She's going to love it. Let me get um, an ear wire. Oh my gosh, I just thought, wouldn't it be really fun if I hung one of these chickens from like a Sheriff Star metal bead? I saw one in my, I have my metal um, bead soup next to me. Wouldn't that Sheriff Star look so cool hanging above one of these chickens? <laughs> uh, maybe um, I'll do one in the future. I, I want to do like a whole series of different chickens because there are so many different ones. I want to do a black one with white polka dots. I want to do a white one with black polka dots. Black chicken, red, all the different colors. So there's the earring. It's so cute. It's just what I wanted for her. And I'm sure she's going to love it. So thanks for watching. I'll include um, a photo, hopefully, of her wearing them and obviously a, a video of Goldie. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. <laughs> you want any scratchy scratchy? Okay.
Get you scratchy scratchies.